Isotopes are found in different abundances in nature. Now, certain elements have many isotopes. Some elements have very few isotopes. Well, regardless of how many natural isotopes there are, the weighted average mass takes into consideration not only what each isotope's mass is, but what its natural abundance is in terms of the percent of atoms that you will find in nature of that particular element. If we want to find the average atomic mass of an element, what we need to know is what its atomic mass is. For chlorine-35, the mass is 35 AMUs. For chlorine-37, it's 37 AMUs. We also need to know the relative abundance in nature. Chlorine-35 makes up 75.53% of all atoms of chlorine. And chlorine-37 makes up 24.47% of all atoms of chlorine. Now, if we were going to average 35 and 37, you'd say, well, it's 36, right? I mean, after all, I got 35, I got 37, add them up, divide by 2, that's 36. Well, that's a straight average. A better way of looking at it is like this. Let's say you're going to go to a birthday party. And at that birthday party, you're going to have 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds, and 17-year-olds. Now, you might say, okay, the average age is 16. But what if, out of all the people, let's say... 30 of the people are 15, 16 of the people are 16, and there's only one 17-year-old at the party. How would you find out what the average age is? Well, you're going to notice it's going to be a lot closer to 15 because there's a lot more people who are 15 at that party. Just the same, since the vast majority of chlorine has a mass of 35, your weight average mass will be closer to 35 than it is to 37. So it'll be 35 point something. You'll know you've done your math correctly if your average is somewhere between the two numbers you're taking the weighted average of. For example, if we did the math for this and found out that the average age was 22, all right, that's not going to work, right? Because the average has to be between the low and high numbers that you're averaging. Unless, of course, there's a creepy old guy in the corner you haven't accounted for yet. And then, oh my goodness, it just brought the average up to 22. All right, so how do you find the weighted average mass? <clears throat> so how do we calculate the weighted average mass? It's simple. Weight average mass is equal to the mass of the first isotope, which is 35.0, times its percent abundance, 75.53, divided by 100. We're going to take that and we're going to add to it the mass of the other isotope, 37.0, times its percent in nature, 24.47%, also divided by 100. So when you combine these two numbers together, that will give you the weighted average. Of whatever the weighted average is, this part is made up of isotope 35. This part is made up of isotope 37. You can see that of our final average, 35 is going to make up a much greater part than 37 will. This is a heck of a lot more of it. Let's add these two numbers together. And the final weighted average of our isotope is 35.4894 AMU. Now, of course, we have to worry about significant figures. We have three significant figures and four significant figures, so we're going to go with three significant figures. We have three significant figures, four significant figures, so we're going to go with three significant figures. So when we add these two values up, we're going to round to the tenths place, or 35.5 AMU. And that is the weighted average mass of chlorine. You'll notice that the average is much closer to 35 than it is to 37, because 35 makes up far more than 37 does.